This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Maribel Rodriguez. A mother has been charged for allegedly putting her newborn in a Boca Raton dumpster. Detectives say Rafael Alessandra Carvalho Sousa admitted to delivering the baby, placing her in a bag and throwing her in a dumpster. The newborn girl was found alive Wednesday morning at the Boca Entrada apartment complex near State Road 7. We're told she is expected to be okay. Sousa is charged with attempted felony murder and child abuse. She is expected in court later today. Police are investigating a deadly double shooting in Miami. Here's a look at the scene last night in the area of Northwest 13th Avenue and 35th Street in Alapata. Police say two adult men were shot and killed just before 8 o'clock. Investigators tell us they were in a car when they were shot. Miami police are not releasing much information about what they think may have led to the shooting. Anyone with information is asked to call Miami police, Miami Dade Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. Now caught on camera, frightening robbery at a Tamarack ATM. Deputies hope some surveillance video will help them catch the crooks responsible. Take a look. Deputies say a man was using the walk-up ATM at a Bank of America on Rock Island Road when the robbers confronted him. The victim says one of the men demanded he hand over everything he had and the other man pointed a gun at him. They took off with the victim's cash, cell phone and wallet. If you recognize the men, call police. An update now to a story we first brought you last week. The gas pump skimmers all over Florida. We told you that Florida is the number one state for fraud related crimes. And in a big way people get hit is through small devices called skimmers at gas station pumps. On Thursday, the Commissioner of Agriculture and Consumer Services, whose department oversees these types of crimes, stopped by a station in Miramar to address the growing problem. So this is something that we're going to make all of the, our law enforcement officers on the roads aware of uh, to make sure that we can try to help and, and stop this as well, because this is a major concern as well. By November of next year, all gas stations in Florida are expected to have encrypted card readers. Now, CBS4 Weather with meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez. Happy Friday and welcome to Mother's Day weekend. And Mother Nature is showing off this morning because we're enjoying a beautiful start, albeit warm and humid. 80 degrees in Miami, 79 in Fort Lauderdale, 81 in Key West. But thankfully, it's mainly dry in Broward and Dade County. We've just had a few showers streaming in across parts of the upper and middle keys near Key Largo and Isla Mirada. Breeze now beginning to build in out of the east east southeast 6 12 miles an hour and as we head throughout the morning there could be a few showers and then highs soar to the upper 80s so certainly very warm and humid this afternoon storms will be favoring the interior sections and then heading off to the west just like yesterday we're going to do it all over again if you're headed to the beach a moderate risk of rip current so be careful uv index also extreme so don't forget that sunblock or the sunglasses as you already need them out there this morning plenty of sunshine voters winds east southeast 10 to 15 knots east 2 to 3 a light chop on the vein and tonight the potential for showers, especially overnight, and we'll see the upper 70s when you wake up tomorrow for your Saturday. We could see again a little bit of rain here and there, and highs will climb to the upper 80s for Mother's Day on Sunday. We're waking up with the upper 70s. Highs will be in the upper 80s, and then as we get into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week, we're turning to that summer-like pattern with highs in the low 90s and the chance for those afternoon and evening storms. But as we head into Sunday for Mother's Day, we're not talking a high rain chance, but there is a 30% chance of some morning showers popping up, mix of sun and clouds, highs in the upper 80s, and the chance for some spotty afternoon storms. Happy Mother's Day to everyone. Maribel, back to you. That's it. Thank you. And that's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com. Tune into CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all of today's important headlines.